Boy, oh boy, man, oh man, it is Wednesday. Welcome back to Esports Talk, everyone. How you guys doing? And in these past few days, G2 ran a Valorant tournament that brought a bunch of pros and content creators together. And in this tournament, they had eight teams. Eight teams that were assembled by the players themselves, and each team kind of represented a different region because it was a European-only tournament. The prize pool was about 10,000 euros, which translates to roughly like $10,800, some, somewhere around there. But today, it is Orb's team, Team Nordics, under fire for using a Cypher camera glitch during the tournament. In one of the game's maps, Haven, against Team Benelux, or Scream's team, Orb was found to be placing his camera in an area that made it unkillable. It was essentially inside a wall in a glitched area in the map, so no one was able to shoot it, and he was able to just keep constant eyes on mid with little to no repercussions. And Nell actually called him out on it because that game went 12 and 13, and in Valorant, you know, you only need 13 wins to actually win the game or win the map. And according to Nell, apparently for almost half the game, he was using that Cypher exploit, and he questions how it's fair, posting video that I'm going to show you guys right now of him actually using the exploit. And here you can see him using it, and the audio is muted on this one because of copyright, of course, but he places it in mid near B site where he gets vision on two players, but the video shows us a bunch of different times in which he uses it, and he's just constantly able to collect information from mid with Team Benelux not really being able to respond to it because the camera is unkillable, and he gets a few kills that he otherwise might not have gotten, and in the end, they end up winning the tournament. And this had some of the players and viewers of the tournament speaking out against it with Idex, one of Team Benelux's members, tweeting that they got cheated in front of thousands of people and it didn't even shock the organizers, that being G2 of course, and that actually sparked a response from Carlos himself. He says that all teams had their respective captains on a Discord channel and the channel was to discuss important matters such as this one. And he says move on because Orb is being called out for it, but in an image he posts, he shows Orb is asking in the Discord channel if they're allowed to use the glitch cipher camera spot. And the admin tells him that they didn't plan against it and it's already been used, so they allowed it for the tournament. And I imagine that as G2, you're put in a pretty awkward spot because the tournament has already started and you've got people that have already been using the cipher camera glitch. So you don't want to just step into the tournament mid-tournament and, and change the rules mid-tournament because that would kind of ruin the flow of things and you know obviously there's a lot of other variables to take into consideration like you know which maps they use the camera glitch on and which rounds they use it on as opposed to which one they didn't use it on there's just a lot of stuff to think about when you're carlos and you're actually you know like ahead of this tournament but idex responded to carlos by saying that if it's a rule everyone should know the rules you know and none of them were actually aware that they were allowed to use the cypher glitch in the first place and idex calls it next level injustice and he follows up by asking carlos if he wanted the stream to look like a glitch fest and he says carlos it does not work like that and you know it and yes like i said orbs team or team nordics actually ended up winning the tournament making use of those glitch cypher cameras through a pretty decent chunk of the grand finals but people came to the defense of both sides of each argument some saying that if they said that you can use it during the tournament, why not use it? And others are saying it feels unsportsmanlike to use, but of course, here I am asking you guys yet again, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Was it silly for G2 to allow them to use the glitch cameras in the first place, or should the other teams have just taken advantage of it because everyone was allowed to? And since then, Twitch has actually announced their next European Twitch Rivals tournament, which will be taking place May 2nd and 3rd for a prize pool of $100,000 but it's gonna be going to charity, COVID-19 charity, and Orb will actually be taking part in this tournament where he actually leaves a tweet and says that this time, all cameras will be low to the ground. So apparently he does not plan on using the Cypher exploit again, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye everyone.